YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and we have another update sneak peek video! Boo doo 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 And new loading screen. Pretty sweet. I'll pause it, go back so you can see it for a little bit longer. But you can also see some shiny. Shiny, shiny gold skins right here. Now in this video, we're basically going over everything that's not the new Brawler Lou or any of the new skins. Now, of course, we will be covering those in separate sneak peek videos, so if you don't want to miss them, definitely subscribe. Now, before we go over these two slots right here, which I'm sure you're dying to know about, let's go over the Brawl Pass, which I can show you. One of the few things that does have Lou in it, or King Lou as well, um... I can't click on them just yet, but you can see some pretty cool uh, pins and emotes for Lou here. And it is going to be 70 tiers of the Brawl Pass. And everything is, for the most part, as you would expect, similar to uh, the previous Brawl Pass. Although, I admit, I think these are some of the better chromatic pins that we've seen. And, of course, still a free pin pack at the end. Oh, real quick, 8-Bit did get a little face uh, animation update here for uh, all of his skins. Except for this one. I'm not sure if he'll get this eventually or not, but it does kind of already have a unique face. But personally, I'm a fan of this. Especially this being a 30 gem skin. Uh, it just looks a little better. Now here we go into the snow tell. You can see the new environment. And I'm going to show you what the golden skins look like in game here. It is basically just like more sparkle, as you would expect. And I also wanted to show off uh, the snow tail environment here. I mean... It's mostly as you saw from Brawl Talk, but up here in the corners where you see a lot of the goodies, Mr. P a little bit angry in the background. And there is different music as well. Personally, I'm going to be excited to play on this uh, new environment. Also gives a different feeling with different music and new environments. And if you're wondering what happens when you have Mr. P here, not much. Maybe his uh, little porters are going a little insane, but that's kind of it. By the way, here's the only balance change coming in this update. Probably only this one because this brawl is broken. And the World Finals are coming up, so they don't want to change it too much. Amber's movement speed is going from very fast to normal. This is going to be a huge, huge change. But she still has the gadget to make her move real quick. But also, her damage is getting reduced by almost 17%. Oh, oh, oh. They're trying to make sure that she is not going to be broken. Well, let me tell you, she definitely won't. Actually, one other small change, but it's not really impactful that much. Now, when a pet is on the field like Nita's Bear or Tara's Shadow uh, that isn't Healing Shade, if there's no enemies on the field, instead of just standing there doing nothing, they will actually just return to their owner. For example, here you go, no enemies alive, so Bruce just comes right back to me. Come on, Bruce, let's go for a walk. By the way, after we made so many memes criticizing their hot zone maps, they decided that they wanted to improve them. <laughs> Thank God. Also, you can see the new uh, environment picture here, Snowball Fight. Uh, you might remember this map, it's sort of just coming back here. Not my favorite map, but it's okay. Another map with the environment here. Mosh Pit was one of those maps. They removed it so you can now go on both sides equally. Um, still not going to be a fun map in my opinion, but it's better. Fires, uh, Ring of Fire no longer has the jump pads, and you can now walk through the middle. So definitely better. We'll see how that one is. Watch out is still the same. Sizzling Surprise still the same. But Dueling Beetles, you might remember it was kind of horrible. Now it's basically wider. It is going to be better in my opinion. And you can go through the middle too. And now for everything about the new map maker in the competition maps. Everything you're going to want to know. First of all, they actually are reducing the amount of tokens you earn from clicking on each event. When it appears from 10 tokens to 5 but they're giving you another way to get some free tokens. Now these two new map slots will unlock at 1,000 trophies, which personally I think is kind of too low for someone to be able to judge a map appropriately, but I understand it's a feature and you want people to have access to it. So it is what it is. Now this competition entry slot, if your map does get approved, it might not necessarily appear even that day because they're only going to focus on one game mode each day in 
this map slot. And actually, a new map will appear in this slot every 10 seconds. That's right, every 10 seconds, a new map appears. We'll see how that goes. It's gonna be incredibly hard for you to actually play on your map that day in Upfooter or to even have your friends do that. I'm not entirely sure how many votes will occur in this uh, slot per map, but uh, obviously we'll see soon. Now, if you do vote on a map, you will actually get 10 free tokens and you can get those 10 tokens up to three times. So 30 new tokens per day, which completely offsets the 30 that you lost before from just clicking on the new map slots. Now you can't gain trophies in the competition entry map slot, but you can in the competition winner map slot, which will consist of the map that got the highest amount of upvotes uh, from the previous day, and it will have normal token game and normal trophy game. Now in order to get your map approved, there are four stages uh, in order to do so. It starts out in draft, as you can see, and in draft uh, mode, you can edit it as much as you want, no problem, until you think it's ready. Once you think it's ready, you can hit submit and say submit a map must be approved by other players in friendly games. If it gets enough approvals, you can publish it. Do you want to? I say yes. Now I'm in dev build, so at the moment I can't, uh, but in live, you will be able to submit up to five of your maps uh, to be uh, approved by your friends. Now, after playing on a map that's been submitted in a friendly game, you finish the match and you can, uh, I believe, uh, eliminate bots in order to do so. You will get to this screen. Do you approve the map code Kaori? Should it be published to all players? Of course, I click yes. And by the way, just so you can see what it looks like when you submit a map here, looks like this, you press submit and it'll show you how many approvals you have and the percent that are positive. Uh, in dev build, it only shows out of one, but you need, again, at least 10 people to vote. And then if out of 10 votes, over 50% of players who played your map voted yes and approve it, it will become green lit. And then it will go into a pool of maps to be played when that uh, event comes out uh, for that competition entry map slot. And by the way, once a map is submitted, you can no longer edit it at all. If you do edit it, it will go immediately back to the draft status and lose all the votes that it had. Once it is actually published, you will see this little green lit thing here change. And as you can see with it green lit, you can click publish and say, do you want to publish it to the center here? It is now published and you will be able to play it. Uh, well, it'll be up for 10 seconds and people will be able to play it in the competition entry map slot. Now, after it's actually been in the competition entry map slot, this publish will change to featured. And if it becomes the winner of the whole day, it will change from featured to winner.